Good morning and happy Monday. It's the Monday before Christmas. I've got my green shirt on and my Christmas tie. I hope you're going to have a wonderful week. We're only open today and tomorrow. Um, I'm going to be closed on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and I'll be back in again in the office probably late Monday. But today, let's talk about the fact that you know what happened last week? Open enrollment came to an end. I hope you had a wonderful open enrollment period. It was crazy here. You know, the marketplace, um, I was with Help On Demand, so people were calling me 24-7. Um, and I think I mentioned in a video that I actually had one guy call me like around, uh, what was it, 12.52 uh, uh, a.m., 12.59 a.m. And when I responded, he said I was talking, he was talking to somebody halfway around the world, so he didn't want to do that, so he kind of hung up on me. Um, never was able to get back in touch with him to uh, follow up with the insurance. But thank you to the Marketplace for referring business to me. It's been greatly appreciated. And thank you for all those who re-upped and who were uh, new clients to the MLD agency this year. We hope that uh, you'll be very happy with your insurance product that uh, you signed up for. Now, you know, since market enrollment, um, open enrollment is over, what if you didn't get insurance for that year? Man, Mark, that's a, that could be a problem. Um, so let's talk first a little bit about um, some of the policies. Most of the policies that were purchased this year, unless you were heavily subsidized, were with high deductibles, you know, 4500 uh, five, six thousand, seven thousand, and I sold a few eight thousand five hundred dollar deductible policies this year. That's pretty high. You know what? A lot of people will tell me, Mark, with deductibles that high, I don't have insurance. Anyway, I've got here, if you didn't get, um, if you've got these high deductibles and you're worried about things, right here with United Healthcare, we have an accident policy that can be purchased. The accident policy can help you if your deductibles are really high. What happens if I'm in an accident? I fall off the ladder putting up my Christmas tree. And you're worried about that, that six, seven, eight thousand dollar deductible. Get yourself an accident policy. Give me a call. Be happy to sign you up for one. Uh, we also have, for people who didn't get insurance and need insurance uh, open-endedly, you know, I do have a lot of people who are going on um, Medicare in the next few months. Mm, they don't really need to go to the Affordable Care Act. It's too expensive. It's always too expensive with the affordable. A politician got involved in that, right? Okay, so it's still too expensive. Um, but you know what? If you just need it for two, three, four, five months or so, and you're healthy, we have short-term insurance policies for you. It's another answer to the Affordable Care Act. But you know what? Once again, what were they thinking? They weren't. Because I can only do this for six months. Why can't I do it for a full year? Because you don't know what's going to go on. If something happened where you didn't get insurance out, whatever the reason, you're locked into the fact that you can only get a temporary policy for six months then I have to write it with a new insurance carrier. Well, here's the problem with that. What if you get sick under the temporary policy? Because they're medically underwritten, you can't do another one. What were they thinking? They weren't thinking, you know? Remember what your mom would say when you weren't thinking? Come up to you, hit you upside the head, think, boy, I think. Okay, in this case, give us something that actually works. Well, what were they thinking? They weren't. Another th problem is, if you don't have insurance and you're afraid of these temporary policies because they run out, guess what I have here? It's a good answer. These are these hospital indemnity policies. A hospital indemnity policy works this way. You go to the hospital. Here's, here's $5,000. We don't care if the bill is 15 cents or half a million dollars per day. Here's $5,000. You take that $5,000 and you pay your doctor's bills with it. You take that $5,000 because a check comes to you. It doesn't go to the insurance company. You take a cruise around the world. Then you figure out how to pay your doctor's visit with it. You get $5,000 per day in the hospital. You get $125 each time you go to the doctor's visit. And if I flip the pages on this, so they're called the Health Protector Guard. It's with United Healthcare. Uh, if I flip the pages, because let's look at some of these things here. This page right here, it gives you depending on what you buy, an outline of coverages for the services provided right here. Uh, you know, that's comprehensive medical services. We go over to the next page right here. Um, once again, there's various things on doctor's visits right through here. So right here, it's $100 uh, 
um, for doctor's visits with the Premium Plus program. The next page right here is your hospital services and right over here, that's where I said by my thumb, the $5,000 a day. Okay, that's more like for the hotel facilities of the hospital. Um, you get two visits for a doctor for $100 per day if you're in the hospital. So they're not a bad plan. Um, over here, surgical services. This one right here, I always go to the Premier Plus because I like the fact that you buy the most expensive plan because it's actually the best benefit plan here since they're a limited benefit policy. So this one here has $10,000 um, for your surgeon. Uh, and they'll pay 20% of the surgeon's fees in case there's an assistant surgeon that's necessary. Oh, wellness, you know, what happens? You want to go in for a physical. But it's not a fully insured product. So this one right here says they will give you up to $250 for your uh, preventive care. So that's not bad. And the final page I'm going to flip through right here is pharmacy. They'll give you $20 for a generic. Um, and $40 for name brand medication up to uh, 12 medications um, RX fill per, per year. So, you know, it's a benefit. Now, this isn't the greatest thing in the world, okay? But then go to Good RX, look at Good RX and see what coupons you can find. So these are not the, you know, the number one stop end all solutions to the Affordable Care Act, but you know, it's a, um, it's a good help right here. A few years ago, I was in the hospital and uh, <clears throat> I applied this policy to my hospital stay. My hospital stay was about $43,000, $44,000. Between the ER benefits, the ambulance benefits, the four days in the hospital, this would have cut me a check for about forty grand, okay, on a $43,000, $44,000 bill. That's not that bad when you consider that that's about what I, would have, I paid anyway with the fully insured health insurance policy. But you know what? Here's the thing. Medically underwritten medically underwritten. These products are medically underwritten, which means the insurance company can raise its rates or refuse you or not cover pre-existing conditions. So the frustration that I have with these things are the short term is that once again, I'm rambling, is the fact that we can't get this for a full six months. The um, hospital indemnity is open-ended as long as you pay your premium, you have the insurance. The one thing about the hospital indemnity is there's no stop loss, which means the maximum out of pocket you can spend. That's a drawback to the plan. So if you found yourself, for whatever reason, you didn't get your insurance through, during open enrollment, and open enrollment is very, very unforgiving. Forget what the politicians say. You don't fit into their cookie cutter mode. You can't fit in, in anything here. Don't hesitate to give me a call. Be happy to work with you to try and get you some coverage until open enrollment for next year. Anyway, this is Christmas week. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas and that you give that special gift somebody's just looking for. Merry Christmas and see you next week. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hey, here's a trivial question for you. Who was the first person or group to record the Little Drummer Boy? That'll be a big surprise to, if you find out the answer to that. Uh, shoot me a quick note and let's see if you uh, know who it was. And then next week I'll tell you who the, the answer to the question is. Merry Christmas.